I'm currently doing acupuncture in a chair that's meant for women who are pregnant. I really hope I don't walk out of here pregnant. My wife and I just bought a house. No toilet, just a house. It's fine for me, but it's hard to convince her to go in the bucket. I was telling somebody that my mom wants me and my wife to have kids, but then she doesn't leave the house. She doesn't ever go to sleep. I wake up, she's there. I go to sleep, she's there. She's like my wife's chastity belt. He's like, what's a chastity belt? I'm like, well, back in the 1500s, um, people would, fathers would put these metal underwear on their daughters and they would have a key to the underwear. So this way, uh, the father would actually give your husband the key to get in. So this way, nobody would have sex with you beforehand. So this way, you'd wind up with a virgin, which sounds great. But when does this girl go to the bathroom? And how does she go to the bathroom? Like, is she just walking around with a yeast infection for like 20 years? How are you not worried about tetanus? Did you guys just have really good insurance back in the 1500s? I used to work for Mars Candies. The stupidest thing I ever saw while I was there, uh, you would always have to wear gloves, plastic gloves, everywhere you went, just this way you wouldn't contaminate the candy. And I maybe the candy won't contaminate you. But I remember seeing a guy go to the bathroom with his gloves on. I assume he washed his hands and then come back out with... I don't know if it was wet gloves or dry gloves, but he went to the bathroom and came back with those same gloves on. Gloves are cheap. Just get different gloves. I am not proud of what just happened. I am on my way to Saratoga Springs, New York, which is by Albany, and I felt that I could listen to 1010 Winds while driving there because that's 92.3 FM in New York, but over here, Upstate, it's 92.3 Fly, which is like, I guess, classic bubblegum hip hop. And I just listened to Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby, thinking it was a commercial for Dentine Ice and was singing along to it. And then I realized three minutes into singing this, this isn't a commercial. I'm actually singing along to Ice Ice Baby while I was looking for news radio. There is no positives of this story. <laughs> this is just terrible. All right, so this is uh, Albany International Airport. And apparently this road will also take me to Montreal. Uh, that's scary. I hope I don't take the wrong turn and wind up on the other side of the border without a passport. Because I live in America and I know we do to people that don't have passports. Coming out, it means a lot to us comedians, you know. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. 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 Thank you for Hey, give it up for John, everybody. He's doing a great job. How's everybody doing? You guys good? Were you here last? Were you here yesterday? Okay, good. She was. She was? I thought you were. Look, I'm also drunk. Um, so this works out really well. I swear, there was a guy who looked exactly like you yesterday. And uh, totally different girl. Uh, this one's way better looking. Uh, no, if, if he did, good pull on the second, bro. <laughs> nice job. Uh, bachelorette party, y'all can learn something from him. Uh, I'm just playing around. I'm just not going to hit on you because my wife is here. Uh. 
This is what it looks like walking into Comedy Works in Saratoga Springs, New York. I'm not going to walk in my room because there's a show going on. Look at this. This is, this is just their back room. This is even the showroom. This is something I found interesting, too. So, on the Friday show, they also do an open mic at, like, after the show, probably 10 o'clock. And I thought that was very interesting. I'm going to actually sign up for it. But more importantly, look at this car. Somebody parked here illegally. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. No, uh, I had a dog, but, uh, you know, I'm um, <laughs> I love it. There's a mic after the show. All right, so I was talking to Grady earlier who was trying to explain a little bit about why this room exists because this is not actually uh, a stand-up comedy performance room, which you would think it is because it looks like one, right? All right, so years and years ago, back in whenever, and Grady's right over there. Uh, apparently, this all used to be a dance club. And it looks like a dance club. If you look at it, right? definitely looks like a dance club. But, you know, pandemic, things happen, and that stopped. But this brewery was supposed to open a tasting room in here. And that wound up going because of the pandemic, and they went bankrupt. Now, they need this space for the chairs, which could also be in the showroom, but maybe there's not enough room for the chairs. Um, and this definitely looks like a great talk show space. But this was originally a dance club, which is why over here, probably, yep, that's a dance floor. And there's like high tops over there and all kinds of things that would indicate that, yeah, this is where you go to dance and you can go over here for beer. And they have a bathroom over there, which, you know, any place would have a bathroom that would just make sense. But yeah, this all used to be a dance club that would then bring you right into the Comedy Works Comedy Club. So I thought that was interesting, but I'm probably going to try to get Grady to actually tell me the story tomorrow when I'm back here. I just happened to stumble up across this. They were telling me about a place called Caroline Street, and it's a whole bunch of dive bars down this street. So, people just you know, having fun, getting drunk, being young. This is just a little bit more entertaining when you're actually on the street. I just totally forgot about this bridge yesterday and that I wanted to take a video of it. I want to see if this is really Stewart's root beer. I think that is. No, that is definitely not. Now you can tell, they have other things. You tell, uh, forget it, let's go back. So that's Congress Park. And that's where, it, like, it, apparently there's a museum in there. I'd like to take it there. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. But we'll find out. Salt and Char looks really cool outside. Yeah, it's all. That's the whole thing. There's a, it, it's a bunch of nice stuff to do in this area. And the destination should be right around here. Oh, there it is, Comedy Works. And then we're gonna go find parking. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, that would have been perfect.
All right, so we just walked down Caroline Street and found this place, which is apparently a condominium. I don't know how or why you would live in here, but it's amazing to just look at. Yeah, no, I got this part. It's not the first place I saw that looked exactly like a church. But this is definitely the first place that I saw that looked like a church. And it's also for sale. It's for I can't believe. Look at this. This is remarkable. And like, I don't know anything about anything that has to do with real estate. But like if I had $200 billion and I wanted to live like four hours away from New York. I would definitely move here, open up a condo, and live in what looks like it was at one point a church. I keep forgetting that Sarasota is a big uh, rider's town. It's like all horses, and they said to me, just, you know, don't uh, say anything bad about horses because that's like our whole economy. And then we walked right past this, and this is like all horseback riders clothing and things that you might need do you think it's for the horses no it's for the people that watch them oh for the viewers of the horseback riding i think we should walk in and take a look really fast i don't know if you guys can tell at this point but the answer is yes i was bullied profusely in high school <laughs> <laughs> Like when he said he got bullied in high school, you all pictured exactly my face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? Good? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. What's your name? Yeah. Good enough. Okay, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, I, what was it? Ian. Ian? Yeah. God damn it. It sucks. <laughs> no, it doesn't suck. You just, you had the name of the person that would have enough money for that watch and her. I get it. <laughs> I, I guess, you, I'm like, Ian, get on. Like Ian Zeering, like is that your name? Is that your dad? Is that what happened? Are you just coming here from 90210 junior year? <laughs> Turn around, let them look at you, and they'll be like, oh my god. He does look like he was trying to bang Dylan McKay's fucking girlfriend. I guess. <laughs> like holy shit. And those of you that are into wrestling, that's Jungle Boy's dad. Um sorry. But most of you guys are in. Her right there, she's like, I don't even know what wrestling is. Um, <laughs> is that like when the firemen grope you in the middle of the fire and tell you this is for your protection? <laughs> uh, I was wearing masks, it's annoying. Uh, people still get mad about it down there. It's still like, I, I, was, I was on the, the train recently, I was about to get kicked the train, and I wasn't wearing a mask, because fuck that shit now. It's like, and this old lady came up to me, she said, Excuse me, she was cover your face. She could be an asshole, you're risking my life. So I stabbed her. 